let the defenders pick each other. Kellen Moore back under center, and they give to Joy Bell. There's a little breathing room as he rolls past the 10 to the 11 or 12 yard line. Interesting about Drake Bell is he led the NFL preseason two different years in That's rushing. Right. Yep. Now what does that get you? Not a lot. No. Dragon writes. Arlen Hill winner in 2009. Worked as a security guard here growing up in the area. That's it through three. Joy Bell leading the way for Detroit in the second that half. That is the end of the third quarter. The Lions lead it 26 to three as we head down the stretch in what people call the dress rehearsal for the regular season. Preseason game number three has been all Lions from Ford Field on the Lions Television Network. Ready to start the fourth quarter. Joy Bell and the Lions leading it 26 to three. Detroit's defense very impressive. Let's welcome in Tom Light. Tom? Matt, he has been a welcome addition to the Lions locker room. I'm no, I know you're thrilled to be back home, and I know you got a lot of support here as we do this interview. Jason Jones joins us, and a good showing by this team, particularly after what we saw against Cleveland last week. Man, great song, great song. You know, we wanted to come out, you know, you know the, the Patriots offense is, you know, is a very complex and a good offense, and we just wanted to come out, you know, just, you know, make a stand at home, you know, come out there, be aggressive, and I think that's what we, we did in the first half. What's it been like for you to be back home? I know so many people are excited to see you play for this team. Yeah, man, it's, it's been great. Family, friends, you know, just you know, texting me, you know, glad to wish me luck, you know, this year. And uh, it's just a good for, for all my family to come back here and uh, and watch me play. You want to see what they're saying about you right there? That's pretty good. Not bad, right? That's the man. He's on fire. Two sacks and a further recovery. I told him man to follow me. Would have got that TD. Hey, man, you out on the man. You out on the All right, you can tell they're having a good time. A little bit different when these guys are winning. That's Jason Jones and his whole crew. Let's send it back to you. Tom, I thought you would have jumped in on Twitter, that Twitter conversation with uh, with Willie Young and, and Jason Jones. And, and, you know, Tom's earlier conversation during our pregame and on DetroitLions.com with Adama you, you see the looseness in which now he is on that sideline and, and becoming much more amenable to the, the media and to his teammates and it's, it's a big difference. Jason Jones is one of those guys, Rob Rubick, you and I saw him play in high school at Southfield Lathrop, we saw him play at college at Eastern Michigan and he's a guy that is, is one of those swing guys. He can play inside or outside. That's valuable. They have a number of guys like that that includes Israel Adonijay as well. Yeah, and what Jason Jones is, is a guy that kept bettering himself at each level. When he went to Eastern Michigan, you know, he wasn't often at State or... or a tight know. end, yeah. But he went there as a tight end, they moved the DN, went down the D-tackle, and he just kept getting better and better. He just had such a huge upside, and he's pretty much fulfilled. Joy Bell. The flag on the play, past the 15 to the 16, maybe 17-yard line. Let's see if it stands. Offense, number 73. 10 yard penalty, excuse me, half the distance to the goal, still first down. Derek Hardman, the guilty. Party there. Hardman's going to be right here, the left guard, blocking on number 67, Corey Grissom. And, you know, we're. You know, I see, you know some of the holding calls have, have been no question, as we saw with John T. Green. The other ones. To me, have not been outlandish. That you think, oh my gosh, you have to throw the flag. It's the old saying you can call holding on every yes. play, right? Moore from his end zone, buying time, setting up a nice screen. Bell's got some room past the 20. High steps his way, 25, and all the way to the 45-yard line. Beautifully executed play on the part of the Lions' offense. And how about Drake Bell quickly becoming a fan favorite? Wayne State. Look at the Wayne State Warrior. This is a screen, and Kellen Moore does a good job. Just by actually finding Drake Bell. Drake makes his moves. We used to call it shallow cuts. He makes them as he's going north and south. He doesn't stop and stutter step. His body's headed down the field. He just makes little shallow cuts that makes people miss. Give him 38 yards for Detroit. 13, 35 remaining in the fourth, and the Lions lead by 23. Corey Grissom getting some help. The backup defensive tackle for the New England Patriots, the rookie out of South Florida. Gingerly walking his way to the New England locker room. New England has eight players, by the way, from Rutgers. 
the second most of any school on one team. The Buccaneers have nine players from that same school, but of course there is a link there with head coach Greg Schiano. First and ten for Kellen Moore in the Lions offense. It's been very good in the second half with Joy Bell and Michael Lashore running the ball well. And behind an offensive line that has gotten really good push, led by Corey Hilliard, led by Adrian Waddle, and you, you like some of the depth. There's Rodney Austin, there's Waddle, the big fella. He's a rookie free agent signing out of Texas Tech. That a lot of people thought, okay, all they do is run those quick, short passing routes, but he's done a nice job of anchoring that right side. Listening in on the plays that Scott Linehan gives him to Kellen Moore. Because you're always thinking, you're always going through your mind what you would be doing. Yeah, and you try to help your butt. You're just watching Kellen Moore when he comes off after this series and gives him, any, give him some advice. Third and seven for Moore. Throws on an out pattern caught for a first down. Michael Spurlock on the receiving end. Kellen Moore should put a little bit of zip on that one now. We always a little bit critical of him. He did not have the strongest of arms. But he's able to have clear vision, step in and throw. And Spurlock tucks it in, gets his feet in, moves the chains. Needed seven, got twice that amount. And Detroit keeps the drive alive inside the New England 40. Theo Riddick, the rookie out of Notre Dame. He's an interesting study. Can play some special teams. Made a nice tackle last week against Cleveland. Catches the ball well out of the backfield. Has a good burst, but with Joy Bell and Michael LaShore backing up Reggie Bush, how much time will he get? How often will he dress on Sundays? I think he's a guy that you can give a clear waiver so that you'd like to put on your... So you have to put my waivers and put my practice squad. Someone might grab him. He's not as deep in the running back position. Picked up five on the last carry. I think a yard or two on that carry as well. So that'll bring up a third down play for the Lions. Spurlock and Austin are to the right. Maybe Shillings and Austin. Riddick is now flexed in the slot on the left side. Moore looks that way, throws, and it's caught by Riddick for a first down. Well, that's a nice matchup. You got Riddick, number 41 on 52, Tarpon and the linebacker, just too quick out of a cut. You give an NFL quarterback somewhere to put the ball, and they can do it. Now we saw in the first half for some of the Lions starters not a very good job allowing Matthew Stafford in window. That time Theo Riddick gave Kevin Moore an opportunity to complete the pass and he did. 8 for 11 for 135 yards and a touchdown for Moore. Probably tech. Shaped by Riddick. To move the pile the other way. Lions coaches feel like he can play at this level. He's got that burst. Detroit with in pretty good shape in the running back spot. Second down and six after a pickup of four. Two big receivers out there for more. Shalen's on the left, Durham on the right. Instead they go to the ground game again. Riddick pulled over at the 15-yard line. Let's welcome in Tom Lyden, Tom. A little injury update for you, Matt. Unfortunately, Michael Williams, the rookie tight end out of Alabama, has been taken back up into the Lions locker room at the beginning of this drive, which was quite a long time ago. He was going to get in here and get some run, but unfortunately he jammed his hand, and they have taken him back for further observation. He is questionable to return. All right, Tom, thanks. Big guy. Three rings at Alabama. National championship rings. 
had some basketball offers from D2 schools as well. Remember that big 6'5", 278. Moore on third down for the corner. Touchdown, Michael Spurlock! Kellen Moore, he's having a nice game here in the second half. We, we talked about he had to come up big. Well, he has. Michael Spurlock, we're going to get a good isolation. They're just playing some zone. They're going to release him. See number 15 coming to the corner. And I'm not sure. You usually look at Justin Green, the DB for the Patriots, what he was doing. He released him like it's a zone. And then he kind of undercut the rope. Let's see, he thought he had deep help, but he had no help. Touchdown Lions. Well, Rublin on to the extra point. And it's good, and Detroit has made it a rout. They're now up by 30. Kellen Moore with his second touchdown pass of the night, and Detroit has opened up a can at Ford Field.